Hi, I'm Chuck at Inline 2, and today we're going to show you how to rebuild this GM 9.5 inch rear drum brake assembly. To complete this rebuild, you will need a brake drum spring tool, a retaining spring tool, and a 3 8 inch wrench or ratchet. Start by locating the left and right backing plate. For this video, we'll be using the 9.5 inch right drum rear backing plate. You can differentiate the two backing plates by the location of the emergency brake cable hole. With the backing plate in front of you, insert the wheel cylinder in place. Now flip the plate over and make sure that the yellow sticker is pointing down. Next, insert the wheel cylinder bolt into the backing plate and finger tighten the bolt. Using a second wheel cylinder bolt, repeat the same step for the other side. Once both bolts are finger tight, you will need a 3 8 wrench or ratchet to tighten the bolts down. Now flip the backing plate over, use one of the four wheel cylinder pins and insert it into the wheel cylinder. Make sure that the pin is correctly positioned as shown. Repeat the process for the other side of the wheel cylinder. Once both pins are correctly positioned, you will need to use one of the emergency brake cables and feed the barrel through the hole. Now push the cable down with a bit of force until it pops securely into place. With the parking brake securely positioned, use the right side parking brake drum lever and hook it into the emergency brake cable. For the next step, locate the drum shoes. Notice how two of the shoe pads are short and two are long. The short shoe pads have 8 rivets, and the long shoe pads have 10 rivets. With one of each type placed in front of you, use the longer drum shoe and connect it into the drum brake lever. The shoe should slide into the wheel cylinder pin as shown. Next, open and organize the spring kit. With all the components laid out in front of you, Take the two green springs and two yellow springs and clip them into the silver cups. You can distinguish the left and right rear drum adjuster bags by the color of the adjuster lever. The right adjuster bag will have a gold zinc adjuster plate and the left rear drum adjuster bag will have a silver adjuster plate. Let's begin to assemble the first part of the adjuster kit. Start by sliding the silver washer over the top of the adjuster screw. Next. Place the end sleeve over the washer and insert the pivot through the adjuster lever. With the pivot and the adjuster lever connected, insert the end of the blue spring into the adjuster lever as shown. After the blue spring has been connected to the adjuster lever, you will need the brake spring tool to attach the other end of the blue spring to the adjuster pivot. Place the brake spring tool under the top of the blue spring Stretch the spring forward until the spring clips over the pivot and inspect your assembled components. Next, you will need one silver spring cup, one long pin, and one yellow spring. Start by inserting the long pin through the hole of the backing plate as shown. Once through the hole, use the assembled drum adjuster and position it over the pin. Now, place the silver tube washer over the rear drum adjuster and align the yellow spring over the tube washer. Using the brake spring compression tool, press down and twist counterclockwise. With the yellow spring locked in place, insert the guide plate over the anchor pin. Using the purple actuator link, attach the hooked ending to the end of the pivot. Slide the other end of the purple actuator link over the guide plate and straighten the guide plate as shown. Once the purple actuator link is attached, insert the red spring between the adjuster lever and the drum shoe. Now, using the larger red spring, 
Lift the adjuster lever and connect the longer ended hook into place. With the red spring in place, connect the shorter drum shoe into the other end of the red spring. Rotate the assembled backing plate. Pick up the adjusting screw and position it as shown. You will now need one green spring, a silver spring cup, and one long pin. Just like before, lift the backing plate and feed the pin through the hole. Once through the backing plate, insert the silver spring cup over the drum shoe and the green spring over the silver spring cup. Using the spring compressor tool, Press down and twist counterclockwise like before to secure the spring into place. Now, using one drum spacer bar and one light blue spring, slide the spring into the end of the spacer bar and position the spacer bar into the assembled drum. Stretch the spring back and push the spacer bar into place. With the drum spacer bar inside the assembled drum, place one large blue spring and one of the large white springs in front of you. Take the large blue spring and insert one end of the spring into the drum chute. Using the drum spring brake tool, slide the bar under the blue spring and stretch the spring until it wraps around the anchor pin. Next, take the large white spring and insert the shorter hook into the brake chute. Now, place the drum spring brake tool under the large white spring and stretch the white spring over the hook of the purple spring. Finally, flip over the assembled drum brake and place the rubber adjuster plug inside the hole. With the final piece in place, flip the drum brake over, inspect all your components, and you are done. If you have any questions, visit www.inlinetube.com and click the live chat button in the bottom right corner to speak with an expert. Don't forget to click the subscribe button below and like, comment, and share our other videos.